I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to clear a clogged ear. Now, to know how to clear a clogged ear, we've got to think about what part of the ear is clogged and how we might fix it. Looking at this ear model, <clears throat> the clogs can occur in a couple of places. This is the external auditory canal, and it ends in the eardrum. This is a sealed system here that starts at the outer ear. And if you get swimmer's ear, swelling, a foreign body, or a wax impaction, that can cause a sense of fullness or clogging of the ear. The best way to figure this out is to let a doctor get a look at the ear canal and see if there's actually something that needs to be treated. Swimmer's ear may respond to some medications or even over-the-counter or home remedies such as a mix of white vinegar, one-to-one -one with alcohol, or drying of the ear. But severe swimmer's ear is probably going to need a mix of antibiotics and steroids and maybe even a wick introduced into the ear to fix it. Obviously a foreign body would need to be removed. Now the other place you can get a sense of ear congestion is here, in the middle ear. This is a sealed chamber that starts at the eardrum and ends here in the eustachian tube, which is supposed to carry air and fluid from the middle ear into the nose. Anything that blocks up the nose of the eustachian tube can allow air or fluid to collect here in the middle ear. So the key here is to unblock the eustachian tube. Now something as simple as a decongestant spray like Afrin, used once or twice, may do that. You never want to use those sprays more than three days in a row though, or you're going to have a very difficult time not using them. For people whose clogging is due to allergies, antihistamines like Claritin or Zyrtec may help, or a prescription nasal steroid like fluticasone or Mometasone will help clear this inflammation and open the tube back up. When there's a cold, you may find that nasal saline drops, either drops for infants or even using a neti pot, which kind of looks like a teapot but floods your nose with salt water, may help relieve the symptoms of the blockage. Additionally, nasal steroids, just like you'd use for an allergy, may help in the case of a sinus infection that's blocking up the ear tube, especially in adults. So, the key is, if your ear feels blocked up or stopped up, you got to know why. Do you have cold symptoms? Do you have allergies? Or do you feel like there's a blockage, pain, or obstruction in the outer ear? Your doctor can help you figure that out, and you can work on either home remedies, over-the-counter remedies, or prescription remedies to fix the problem, whatever it is. Talking about relieving a stuffed-up ear, I'm Dr. David Hill.